before we wrap up, tell about the story of a uh, meaty, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know how to call it in English, in meaty, yeah. but uh, that voodoo at what? What was happening? Okay, you know what? Uh, our coaches, and then uh, we we boxers from the free state, we we lack a lot of knowledge. Uh-huh. You see, our coaches used to tell us like, "Hey, we need to get through three provinces. It's Limpopo, that's one. Gauteng, <laughs> and Eastern Cape. That's three. You see, so like, and then they were like." You must know, man, these guys are dangerous because of one reason. So, as boxers, like, what's wrong with them? <laughs> then they were like, you know, in Limpopo, these people, they use moot, these guys. <laughs> hey, they use moot. Uh-huh. When you box, you see when you go in fight, you smell this thing from them, you smell this, you see, and then you feel like vomiting, and then they hit your stomach. <laughs> Don't go in fight too much, try to fight okay. outside, you know? Okay. So, you know, you know, as a kid, as a boxer, you know, you're growing up because this is something we told us when we were still young. Yeah. So you're like, eh, yeah, ne, limpo, po. You need to smell something, you know, when you visit the room and we smell like, ah, yeah, 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 it's moot, you see. And then, how mm-hmm. They say, hey man, how these guys, they use technology, these guys. They use technology, There's this thing they put there and everything, and then they click on the computer. <laughs> strong left hand, strong right hand, uh, fast jab. But then as you see, Hickey Park, and then they are fast to the punches. They never get tired and everything. They use technology. They use technology. There's a kid, obviously, like, hey, 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 these guys use microchips and everything. So and you, you think that, you know, you think that, you see. And then the last one, Eastern Cape, you know, man, these guys, hey, Balo and these guys, they use multi, these guys also. You know, have you ever seen the guy, like, this other guy? They throw the hook, you went under it, and then you fall down. <laughs> it's because there was a topology in the club. You know, it caught him. You see, we see he was missed, but then he thinks he was caught, you know. And so, you as a boxer, you believe that. You're a kid. Young, you're, you're a kid. kid. You're a kid. So you so, end up because you see now, you believe that. And when you fight the person, you see. Yeah. And then you, because of fear, you fall down and everything. And then you're like, ah, they were using that stuff for them. So. You're smelling. Hey, I'm a fan. No, I'm a fan. you see, you see, you see. Let me tell you, you know, um, why the lack of why is it lack of knowledge? We're gonna start again, like from Limpo. Boxers from from Limpo, it's a very hot climate. It's a dry, I don't know, dry climate or wet climate, but it's a very hot climate. So they older when they go run, it comes up more. You see, mm-hmm. and now a team of 24, meaning at uh, that time uh, there was in the world division, there were 12 boxers, mm-hmm. and then in the AC Championship, you come with uh, with your walkover. Yes. You see, now imagine all your track suits after, after road work and everything, all your track suits in that room. Yeah. You go in there, you smell, ah man, you see, it smells track suits. So, because the coach says moot, immediately you're already thinking, oh, they're already passing in this stuff. Uh, so, you think the sweat is moody? You see, so once they still smell like odor and next uh-huh. to this guy, you know, they ain't wash and everything, they end up thinking that. So, because now you go deep into it and you're like, ah, uh, man, <laughs> my room, our room also smells the same as the this same, guy's room. The so, same moody. Uh, I can't be moody. So, that's where my fear of Limpopo boxes ended, you see. Mm-hmm. How dare Ah, you know, let's put out in the end. Let's go to Eastern Cape. Eastern Cape, this is my dad always taught me that one. That Eastern Cape boxers, they win because of Bavi. Bavi is, it's, it's, it's crowd. Okay, okay. Uh-huh. It's crowd. They are good. I'm not taking anything away from any provinces mm-hmm. and anything, but I'm just trying to show how it put disadvantage to most of our boxers in the free state. Uh-huh. You can throw a punch, one, two, three on the guards. That didn't score a blow. The crowd was like, yeah! You know? And because the boxer, he was like, yeah! He has this thing that, ah, I think I'm losing. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. And then he has in fight, and then now, you are now a punching bag. Aish. Because he has a, yeah! You throw a punch, there's no, yeah! He throws a punch, yeah! He misses, yeah! Now you, you just think, hey, I'm losing, losing, and at the end, you lose the fight. 
Ay, you see, most of our free state boxers they get knocked out because it's not that because they got caught and knocked out, they just gave up. Gave up or they could no. Yes, I remember my fight with Zola and he okay. was back in 2003. You mean Zola and talking about the last one? The last one, uh -huh. uh, it was in uh, Al I think it was Alberton. Uh, we were fighting in the AC Championship. Mm. I gave up. Why? I gave up. Uh, on the first round, because you know the crowd and everything, I'm losing, this guy's hitting me, you know. I, I, I just say, you know what, no, 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 this guy's too strong for me, you know. The crowd can, I just gave up. And he was not strong, the crowd was strong. And the crowd was strong. Yeah. No, yeah, he was strong. He was, he was strong, you know. But then with the crowd also, because this thing can't come with the bus. Yeah. So you see that, ah, yeah, 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 there's no use. So you see that ah, yeah, 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 yeah. there's no use. I'm giving up. I sat down, you know. And again, I had an injury from him, so I was like, I. Ah, yeah. But I could, I could still continue, but I gave up. But Felix, from all those challenges, you made all through. You did all in the matches. Mm. You went all all all, all the games, uh, world championships, Olympics. Then from. All those achievements from the matchup. Professional? Okay, before going to professional, let me cover up the how thing. Because okay. I know people from how they like, ah, what technology are you talking about? Technology. <laughs> yeah, the technology. <laughs> you see, uh, like I said, Eastern Cape does that, mm -hmm. you know, crowd, they, they are very good singers. Yeah. So, so it, it works for them, mm -hmm. you see. So I, I knew that if I can make the whole crowd quiet, I'm winning. Yeah. You see. How this technology they're talking about is a certain machine that shows certain checks injuries. Yeah, I've once used it when we were in the national team in uh, we were camping in in, Bloom, in Bloemfontein, uh, UOFs, mm -hmm. University of Free State. Mm -hmm. So they would check your injury, they put certain patches, yeah. it shows injury if you have any certain injuries and all those stuff you see. So because you know we don't know the lack of knowledge. Technology. Yeah, I know these guys they, they, they were putting microchips. <laughs> you know? <laughs> that's why. So that's when I understood no man. We were lying to ourselves. There's no microchips. It's, it gets into your it's, mind. It's something in the mind. It gets into your mind. You see? So because of me managing to master ah. the knowledge of those three things. That's when I knew, when I was in the national team, no one can defeat me. Wow. That's when I knew that I can do something big mm. in the national team. I'm not like, yo, this is America, wah, wah, wah. I was like, America is just like how thing. No, I'm not, I'm not afraid. I, I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight. He said, yeah, two hands, two legs, one head like me. He's the same. He got at the world championship. That's the way I got in the world championship. That's how I won in the 2009 world championships in Italy. Our, it was two of us boxers who won. It was me and Papi Spadoi from, from, from Limpopo. We were the only two boxers to win at the World Championships. Wow. Yeah. And you, you did it all. You, world Championship is a big thing. World two, <laughs> world, and five, all two world, world, world Championships. Two World Championships. And you won both. Uh, the second one I lost. I was fighting against Jeremy Baku from France. He was a very, very excellent boxer with a very very tight defense and when are you different you were talking about defense from you know other, uh, your opponent how's your defense Mary? Yeah, my my defense is attack attack uh -huh. my defense is attack but i don't just attack i'm very technical like you see like i say yeah amateur boxers who turn pro mm -hmm. you can learn anything you see they're very technical and reward Olympic gold medalist, turned pro, undefeated. Why? He knows how to score. He knows how to protect himself, you see. So we very technical. We don't just throw many punches. Look at Floyd Mayweather's rate, rate of punches and, and the opponents. You find the opponent that more rate of punches, but Mayweather's rate per punches is lesser. Yeah. It's something you learn from Olympics, uh, mm. international, uh, amateur computer scorings. Okay. Mm. Now, that's how we go, we get into professional. So now, professional. Mm. 
From amateur to professional. When was your first fight as a professional? <laughs> and oh, when? this is going to be a funny story. Mm. My first fight was in August uh, the 9th of August 2015. Same fight you were fighting. Where? In Venda. <laughs> same camp, same camp, same teammates. Teammates. Same coach, uh, Hansel uh, Donald Yeah. You know, what and it was exciting. 